welcome to another episode of Patents Simplified. In this episode, I'll answer the question, what is not patentable? Uh, there's another episode where we answer the question, what is patentable? But I think the answer to what is not patentable is just as interesting. The U.S. patent law lists several things as being explicitly outside of the patentable subject matter. At the top of that list is laws of nature. Uh, the fact that there's night and day, the fact that uh, seasons change, obviously, are not patentable. Uh, neither is the fact that uh, water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. I think it all makes sense. Uh, next in the list is physical phenomena. Physical phenomena are those things that exist in nature without you. Um, coal underground or mushrooms that grow in your backyard naturally are not patentable. However, if you found a process that alters them and puts them in a state that does not exist in nature in general, um, then that would be patentable. Um, for instance, if you found a, a way of uh, purifying coal, or um, if you found a way to genetically alter uh, the mushrooms so that they have more useful properties, well, that would be patentable. Um, generally, living organisms in nature are not patentable um, you know as a rule um, just like um, a, a common field mouse is not patentable however if that mouse is genetically altered in some medical research um, to aid in development of drugs or things like that then that mouse may be patentable although it is a living organism uh, next in the list is uh, abstract ideas, a dramatic um, musical or artistic works. Those are not patentable. And uh, I imagine you would say, well, wait a minute, those are intellectual property, clearly, right? They should be protectable. And um, the reason they're not patentable is that they are the subject matter of copyrights. The US patent law says uh, dramatic works of art, uh, literary, artistic, musical works, these are um, copyrightable and protectable as intellectual property it's just that they're not patentable as a rule you cannot patent and copyright the exact same thing there's only one type of intellectual property protection afforded for the exact same thing but it is possible to file a uh, copyright on, uh, on 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 a piece of software code and then patent the, um, the design flow or, or, or the flow diagram generally uh, of the software code as a, as a process. So that's a little bit different and it's a bit of a subtlety. Next in the list are uh, things that the US Patent Office considers not useful or not possible. Um, I've mentioned in other occasions that a perpetual motion machine is considered unbelievable or impossible by the US Patent Office and it is well it's considered impossible by the rest of scientific community as well obviously so if you have a patent where there are claims that are directed towards a perpetual motion machine they will be rejected because the US Patent Office will say that it is impossible or that it is not useful and uh, not useful in the words of the US patent law means that well, it either does not have utility or that it does not perform the specific function that it's intended to perform. So those would not be patentable. What is not patentable um, has expanded a little bit over the years. Um, in 1950s, for example, explicitly it's been added that nuclear weapons are not patentable. Um, neither is explicit um, and, and sole, solely uh, military use of nuclear power. Those are not patentable. Uh, more recently, in 2011, America Immense Act added a few more things to that. Um, a couple of them are more interesting than others, and I'll mention those. Um, one is um, tax strategies uh, that are intended to you know, reduce or defer or evade your taxes are not patentable. And I know a lot of people are disappointed about that, but oh, it's not patentable. Um, the American Immense Act also says uh, explicitly that human organisms are not patentable. As you can 
appreciate the genetic research has evolved over the years and uh, we're getting closer to being able to create uh, complex organisms uh, genetically. So nobody wants human beings walking around where their patent is held by some other person. Uh, so that also makes sense. Uh, in the US law, uh, human organisms are not patentable. With the definition of what is not patentable that I gave you, uh, now I'll talk about a few things uh, where I get questions on. Uh, one is uh, business patents, um, business method patents. So business method patents are patentable. Um, or the business method inventions are patentable. Um, as a matter of fact, there are a number of them granted and there's a new class of patents uh, issuing. Uh, so there's no problem there. Uh, another uh, category is software. Uh, software is patentable. However, the software code itself is not. The software code itself, like a printout, that is copyrightable, not patentable. However, the process that code implements, the design flow, the decisions, is patentable as a process. Another area where I get questions um, on is algorithms. So the algorithms are not patentable if you're thinking about just an equation. So that is not patentable. However, if you build a machine, a software code, or, or some um, process that works on the basis of that equation, that implements that equation, that would be patentable. And uh, finally, although we did mention it, uh, living organisms that exist naturally um, and explicitly also human organisms are not patentable. Um, and you and I could feel relieved about that. With that, I think uh, hopefully you'll have a little better, a little fuller understanding of what is and now what is not patentable. And when you're drafting your next patent application, um, I hope that that'll help you. Thank you for watching and see you in other episodes. Thank you.